I am Satosh Gadankar. Today I am teaching you mechanics of material in that one volumetric strain. In the volumetric strain, today's problem is about cylinder. A steel rod 5 mm long and 30 mm in diameter is subjected to an axial load of 50 kN. Determine change in length, diameter, volume. We have to determine the change in length, diameter and the volume. And Engs modulus is given as 200 kN per mm square. Poison's ratio 1 by m is equal to 0 0.25. Rod is given. A cylindrical rod. Subjected to an axial load. P is equal to 50 kN. 50 kN. That is 50 into 10 to 3. Diameter is given. 30 mm D is given diameter the length is 5 meter 5 meter if you convert into mm it will be 5000 mm 5000 mm data given length is given 5000 mm Diameter 30 mm, P is given 50 kilo Newton, that is 50 into 10 raised to 3 Newton. We have to find out change in length, change in length, change in length we have to find out, that is delta L. change in diameter change in diameter delta d change in volume change in volume delta v hence modulus given E is equal to 200 kilo Newton mm square that is 200 into 10 raised to 3 Newton per mm square Poison's ratio 1 by m or mu is equal to 0 0.25 0 0.25 now the formula because it is a diameter the formula the volumetric strain volumetric strain EV is equal to delta V divided by V delta V divided by V volumetric strain one more formula for volumetric strain EV is equal to sigma divided by E 1 minus 2 mu the sigma is nothing but P by A divided by F, say, uh, Engs modulus 1 minus 2 mu. P is nothing but 50 into 10 raised to 3 area because it is a slender, therefore pi by 4 into d square. What is the d square here? Area is nothing but pi by 4 into d square. 5 by 4 into 30 square. You will get the area. 1 minus 2 into 0 0.25. 0 0.25. EV is equal to 1.7683 into 10 raised to minus 4. It is a volume volumetric strain, therefore no unit. We have to find out the change in volume. Now substitute in this formula 1.7683 into 10 raised to minus 4 divided by delta V. Now volume, volume of the cylinder. What is the volume of the cylinder? Pi by 4 into d square, 30 square into length, 5000. Volume is pi by 4 
d square into n pi by 4 into 5 sorry 30 square into 5000 you will get volume cross multiply delta v will be delta v 6 6 mm cube the change in volume volume means nothing but unit will be mm cube now we have to find out change in length change in length we have to find out now there is one more formula for finding the change in length that is ev is equal to instead of sigma by e you have to go for delta l by l 1 minus 2 mu because ev we know that 1.7683 into 10 raise to minus 4 delta n length is nothing but 5000 1 minus 2 into 0 0.25 0 0.25 delta l is 1.768 mm we got the change in length now we are finding the change in diameter how to find out change in diameter as the tension is applied there will be change in length in the increase in length in the case of along the axis but reduction in the terms of diameter therefore I will go for Poisson's ratio Poisson's ratio what is the Poisson's ratio says Poisson's ratio that is lateral strain by longitudinal strain now here delta L by delta L by L is nothing but longitudinal strain along the length lateral strain in terms of diameter as the tension is applied reduction occurs the lateral strain is nothing but delta D by D divided by delta L by L mu already we know that mu is equal to already we know mu is nothing but 0 0.25 is equal to delta d diameter is 30 divided by delta l is nothing but 1.768 divided by l is 5000 cross multiply cross multiply you will get delta d is equal to you will get delta d is equal to 2.652 into 10 raise to minus 3 mm I am Santosh Gadankar thank you very much